Hello everyone, welcome back to Kayla Budgets. I'm Kayla and today's video is going to be about our debt, our total debt and um, some trackers I've made up, our emergency fund tracker, all that good stuff. Um, I have tried to record this, this is my probably sixth time, it just keeps timing out, I don't know what's going on, but so I've already pre-filled this first page anyway, so um, I'll just take you back down step by step. First things first, I just want to thank my lovely first ever subscriber. Thank you so, so, so much. It makes me feel so special that you would choose my page to follow um, on here. I just, oh yeah, it's just crazy to me that people are actually out there watching <laughs> uh, our real life. All these numbers are real life. All the budget numbers are real life. There is no secret stash of money waiting there um it is what it is so <clears throat> i appreciate you and it makes me a bit nervous but it also is so so exciting um for anyone else out there we are a family of six two adults four children and three doggies i oh, want two fish um we have two pugs and a frenchie they are our beautiful babies um, and obviously our human babies are the most beautiful as well. <laughs> I have to add that in there just in case. Um, they know that though. Uh, so yes, so we, um, this is our starting point. I have made all of these trackers. I do have a little Etsy page with these on them. Um, it is Kayla Budgets by Kayla. If I can figure out how to link it in the description below, I will. I just don't quite know how to do that yet. Um, anyway, I will take you through our debt. It is depressing, but it is what it is. Um, we were silly and um, we want to turn it around. There's no point crying about the past. We just need to move on and deal with what's in front of us now. So here we go. We list our smallest to largest, uh, Dave Ramsey style. <coughs> so after our emergency fund, we will be focusing on this zip pay. Now, I haven't included my afterpay on our debt total, only because they are coming from our sinking funds. I don't quite see them. I know it's debt. I'm not silly. I know it's debt, but um, it's kind of a short term going to be done in eight weeks. I have it budgeted, so I haven't actually put it in here. This is the stuff that has a monthly payment ongoing for a long period of time that isn't budgeted to be paid off. The minimum payment's budgeted, but it's not, this isn't. Whereas zip pay, the entire amount is going to be paid off in a certain amount of time. So <coughs> this is everything except after pay. So zip pay, we owe $1,870.41. Minimum monthly payment is $60. Now I don't like to put goal dates to be paid off, but I know some people need a date um, and that's fine so I've added dates just in case anyone out there wants to purchase these trackers ANZ credit card $3,320.53 our minimum payment is $75 um, I should probably tell you what we bought with this money um, this one was our TV zip pay was our TV and a couple pieces of small furniture so I'm not too, I'm angry because we put it on debt. I'm not too angry because they were necessary when we moved um, home and had to sell everything and all that jazz when we moved from Melbourne to Brisbane. Um, anyway, next one, this is the one I cannot tell you. No idea what we've spent this money on. And it's so sad. It was a balance transfer from this credit card. So credit card. $3,897.53 minimum payment $80 you know that's seven grand that I just can't even tell you what it went on like it's so frustrating and crazy to me that we have done this to ourselves but like I said we're going to stop crying about it we're going to move forward with it it is what it is uh, CUA is my husband's car $5,350.12 and the minimum payment is $136 a month. My car, $21,388 minimum payment, $500. I don't pay interest on this one. It is a uh, 
family kind of alone. A lot of things happened to get to this point. Uh, my beautiful parents helped me um, with this situation. It was a big ordeal. <laughs> And yes, so it is last on our list, but I'm I'm thinking of a way to get this one paid off quicker. So it will be last that we're, you know, throwing everything at it. What I was thinking of doing, and put a comment down in the description if you do this, or if you just think that I should just keep rolling like a snowball, like Dave Ramsey says, but my idea was to... Yes, smash this one out and then move down the list and throw everything we can at it. But then take that $60 payment and instead of rolling it down here, put it on here. So then my monthly payment permanently is $560. So it cuts off some time that we're going to owe my parents this amount of money. Because this is a big chunk of money and I, the guilt that you feel owing your family is huge and when it's this amount it's um <clears throat> it's just not good so sorry i have a <clears throat> croaky throat today i apologize for doing all that um yeah what do you think about that what do you think about me putting that here to make it 160 and then and then going to this one and smashing out every extra dollar that we have putting it on there but then same thing once that has been smashed putting the 75 to be I mean, I'm not, I'm not a good math, 635, <laughs> is that right? <laughs> it would turn into 635 um, permanently because realistically by the time we get here, it's going to be um, a while away. But I don't want to owe them for like four or five years. Do you see what I'm saying? I I'm thinking that might be a good way just to cut, a, even if it's just to cut a year off or a few months even. I just, I just feel the, yeah, I don't like owing them. <laughs> um, anyway, so our minimum monthly payment worth of debt is $851, which sucks. I'd much rather that be saved or put to something of use but it is what it is again stop crying about it kayla move forward this is our total shabam wowzers thirty five thousand eight hundred twenty six dollars fifty nine cents it stings it stings a lot now i don't share you guys and this is why i'm anonymous because i don't share details like this with anybody me and my husband, and then that's it. So to throw it out into the universe, into the YouTube world, is very, um, sorry, just make sure you're in frame. Yep. It's very overwhelming and nerve-wracking, and, you know, especially to say every dollar, and, you know, I might be judged for what's here or how we spend the money, and that is nerve-wracking. <laughs> But I need the accountability and I need to share this. I need to share this. I need to get it out of myself. My husband's not sick of me talking about it, but I do go over it a lot. Um, just so I guess to reaffirm it in my own mind. Uh, but if I can put it on here, awesome. Anyway, so how I've made this is that once you've paid off each debt, you get to color a little piggy. So there's 10 lines, 10 debts. We have five, so I won't be doing this bottom line. Once I pay zip pay, I can colour it a piggy and things like that. And then once I've finished it all, I'll put my date that it was completed. So I'm excited that it's starting. I'm not excited that it's $35,000. Mm, never mind. It is what it is. Now, emergency fund. So I have popped $1,000 in there because that's our initial amount that we're going to be saving for next year i'm going i want to try and do this by the end of this year so we are selling things on marketplace um i'm going to be doing as much work in my little business as i can especially coming up to christmas i am hopeful we will get and then budgeting with our normal um budget i'm hopeful we will hit that before the end of the year um 
I know to some it's only a thousand dollars, but for us, um, we've never had saving, and I mean, like never. So to actually have something in there, and I know it's only a thousand bucks, and it will, it would have saved us this last week with our two emergencies. That would have been sufficient to um to have helped us. So <clears throat> to have a thousand, our goal is two thousand by the end of next year for it to be up to two grand so 1000 hopefully by the end of this year and then slowly then we'll move on to paying debt and then slowly I will just add it um as kind of maybe even do like a I don't know 20 dollar a fortnight or however many it works out to be um to get this up to 2000 I'll pop as an actual line in our budget a budget line <clears throat> To help us maybe I don't know I haven't I'm saying all this now but I haven't confirmed anything for the new year that's gonna be a whole nother video that I actually sit down decide what's going where how much is being spent where and our sinking funds and things like that so for now it's a thousand dollars I'm hoping to smash it out by the end of this year so thousand dollars and then I've already I've already, I don't have a calculator, so I had to do this off camera and just, um, oh, sorry, I'm so sorry, I just knocked that, um, and get it all written down, sorry, I'm just looking for it, so each little money, so how these work are, you divide the amount that you have by the amount, and I've put it under here, by the amount of little icons, dollar notes that you are colouring in, so I know that it equals each little note is $8.35. So every time I put $8.35 into our emergency fund, I can colour it in. So date started is the 1st of the 11th, I think it's the 1st, um, 22. And that's how that one's going to go. And I'm going to put some colour in it because I want to. So I'm going to go, I'm going to colour in this and I'm going to color in the amount just to make it colorful and then I'll color in these anyway that's the emergency fund that's what our first focus is on and then we move to all the debts so here we go the first debt is zip pay because that's our smallest i'm just going to write it right here zip pay <coughs> the total we owe is one thousand eight hundred seventy dollars and 41 cents and again i'm dividing it by 120 which is let me find it fifteen dollars sixty and i start at first of the 11th second so that's that let me color some in i just like color it makes me happy it makes me want to do it so i'm doing it this way you don't have to do this <laughs> it is an extra step but i just think it looks so cute okay please if i'm leaving anything out and you don't understand anything or i haven't explained it properly more to the point um Drop a comment in the down the bottom. I don't even know how to say these things. This is how new I am. Put a comment comment down below. <laughs> That's what people say, isn't it? Comment down below if you need clarification or um, anything like that. Um, let's move on to the next one. Now I'm just going to write ANZ credit card total here being three thousand three hundred. $20 and 53 cents so now these are 96 there's 96 cards that we're going to color in each card here is $34 and 60 cents now <clears throat> on these you don't want to color in the bill the amount that you pay per like when I did my uh, minimum payments let me go back to that you don't want to color in $60 worth of squares because $60 
includes the interest, right? Unless it's interest free, then go ahead and color them in. Um, so I know that one payment of the $60 only around, I think it's 16 or $17 is principal of the payment. So I will just round that. It's, I'm pretty sure it's like $16.90 or something like that <clears throat> is paid every time I pay $60 off the principal. The rest is interest, um, which is why I don't like this one. <laughs> at all because I'm basically not paying anything off it's just going to keep going 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 so 1560 you get to color in one because you're only taking away one from the interest and that's how that kind of works I forgot to put this in just 20 second and same with this I know that the um, principal payment of that is around $35 so that will be that I'm going to go orange and I'm going to go, I'm going to go yellow. Let's make this one sunny. There we go. <clears throat> Next one I'm just going to put CC because I know that that means, can you see what I'm doing? Sorry guys, I need to keep checking but as you know I'm very very new and I keep forgetting and I get carried away and I start rambling so I apologize <laughs> okay so the total for this was three thousand eight hundred ninety seven dollars fifty three cents started on the first or the 11th 22 and again 96 little icons it's forty dollars sixty cents and again um, it's around about that that gets paid off of my card in principle oh I forgot to color them in silly me let's go have I done blue have I done blue I think I've done all the colors but let's do blue here blue and uh, let's go yellow again because that's beautiful I like yellow. Here we go. All done. Next one is my husband's car loan. So I'm going to write CUA. And it is, make sure you're in it. Yep. $5,350.12. First of the 11th, 22. And there's 220 of these little cars. And it is $24.30 that I get to do. I'm pretty sure that's around three and a half cars every payment <coughs> worth of principal on this one. So that's cool. I'm going to go orange over here this time. I'm going to go green for hubby's car. Here we go. Last but not least, my car. Total debt, $21,388. Starting today. Again, it's that, and each little thingy is $97.20. Now, as I said, um, I'm going to do this side pink. Um, I don't pay interest on this one, so I get to color in, I'm just going to color in five, five cars every time we pay that one off. And that will be that. There we go. Do you like them? I um, I tried. <laughs> I don't know if it's what people are looking for, but it's what I'm looking for. I just wanted something that I could. Oh, sorry, I'm rustling all my papers. I just wanted something that I could um, track and 
have it all laid out in front of me, have something that's colorful that I can color in, um, and just something simple. Like I know there's so many amazing, beautiful trackers out there, especially for savings challenges and things like that. Um, I really want to do some in the future. Um, there's been a couple of pages and channels that I just thought they had the coolest stuff on there. Um, I will do them in the future next year. This year is all about, it's pretty much getting started, getting through Christmas because that's going to be a very expensive time for us. Um, I'm going to have all my family here. They're still in Melbourne, so they're all coming up for Christmas. So it's going to be a very jam-packed full week over Christmas. Um, and, you know, we have four children, so it's always expensive no matter what. <laughs> This year, thankfully, my family, my close family, who's all coming up, it has, we've decided to do a secret Santa this year because they all obviously need to pay to come and stay. It's very expensive that time of year anyway. Um, so we've decided to do a secret Santa for the first time ever. So I'm actually quite excited, uh, but it cuts our, you know, what we normally pay in half pretty much. So yay. Um, I'm trying to convince my husband's side. We only have three people to, to buy for. So it's it's fine, <laughs> to be honest with you. It's going to be probably, I don't know, you might cut $50. It's not going to be too much um, of an issue on that side. But this side, yeah, my side, it's we love Christmas and we like to spoil our family and do lots of awesome things so this year we've decided that we're doing this even if it's just for this year and go back to normal last year but we might love it so who knows we'll decide when the time comes but for this year that's what we're doing um yeah anyway that's our debt this is where we're coming from and going one day you will see these all in color and it will be so very exciting to me. I cannot wait. I particularly cannot wait until this emergency fund is all colored in. Because touch wood, oh, I just, we've had two already and it comes in threes and I'm just sitting here waiting <laughs> for something else to happen. And I just, I'm just praying that nothing else goes wrong until we can get some more, some, not some more. We have nothing in there, so just get it smashed out so mm. oh, I should probably have told you where we got the money for our second emergency because we didn't um, have any have any money left so it I've had to borrow it from rent now normally that would freak me right out because my parents own this home um, and so for me I don't know, just owing them or not paying. It just makes me so nervous. So not nervous. I mean, they would be fine. They would say, don't worry about it. Just let it be a week late or whatever. But for me, the guilt in me personally, I just, I don't know, I can't do it. I just can't. It has to be paid <laughs> and it will be paid. So it doesn't need to be paid until the 21st of November. So we have another pay coming in between then anyway. Another two pays, in fact. Um... So it will be paid, no, one pay, one pay, sorry, because we were just paid. I was thinking 20 days, two pays, no, scratch that, one more pay <laughs> before it needs to be paid. I've already done November's budget, I've already done up to December, um, December's budget, but November's budget has covered it. So, and then we have, because it's kind of like we've prepaid for a little baby emergency, so the emergency budgeted money that we had needs to go to the rent to replace it and then so it will be a very small amount unfortunately going to our emergency fund but oh well it's something we're starting it it's getting going I'm selling everything like I can around the home on Facebook marketplace to try and hurry the process up a little bit um but yeah, I'm hoping to bring you one of these videos, the debt updates and totals, and even if it's just colouring in one square, I think that would be fun. 
I'm going to do that. So I'll be back monthly with these ones. I also saw a really awesome savings challenge with a lady, I think it's Aussie Budget Queen. Um, I've been absolutely obsessed with her videos lately. She's just, I just love the videos and I especially love game night. She calls it game night and she has a pack of cards um, and she lists out uh, 10 of her sinking funds that don't normally get a lot of love and then she kind of shuffles and then breaks the deck and then whatever number is on the card she gives I think it's five dollars I think she she gets out about sixty dollars I think and it's from her um side hustling so her Facebook marketplace eBay and things like that and then she uses that money to fund um the game night and I thought that is such an awesome thing to do so I'm thinking if I end up making a lot of side hustle Oh, someone's at my front door. One moment. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Um, yeah, I was... Oh, what was I saying? Game night. I was thinking if we earned a good amount, maybe I would take a little bit to do some game night and do start some mini savings challenge thingies. I'm not too sure. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, I really do want to get the emergency fund done, but I just feel like it's so boring. My videos are going to be... <laughs> just all about the emergency fund um and i want to have fun with money while i'm doing it i don't want it to be like a dreaded boring thing because once that happens it gets a bit um what's the point and all that kind of stuff so i want to keep it fun and interesting and good for you guys too i want to keep it fun and interesting on my channel and i'm hoping that everyone will follow along i am absolutely loving doing these videos and having other people to share my kind of stuff with my my debt my money things that you can't really talk with to anyone else about <laughs> so I just talk to all of you um yes yeah, so I hope you like this video I know it was a bit awkward and rambly and things like that I'm still learning um anyway I'm thankful the video didn't time out this time so this is the video I'm going to post even if I muck it up somewhere I'm sorry <laughs> But anyway, have a lovely day, guys, and I will see you next time. Bye.